Good morning, Pastor Mike, Ascension Lutheran Church, Wichita, Kansas. It was really good seeing many faces return this past Sunday. It was one year ago that the government issued its stay-at-home order, shutting down the business and the economy of the United States. They said, give us two weeks to flatten the curve. Let this be a lesson to us all. <laughs> this past Sunday, Ascension held one of its semi-annual congregational meetings. The spring meeting is usually about election of officers and maybe one or two other items. Ascension does congregational meetings very well. I applaud the members of Ascension for their preparation in reading the material ahead of time, seeking information in advance, and asking questions before the voters' meeting. This really helps Ascension conduct its business efficiently and effectively, reducing the number of clarification and information questions that are usually in the reports, but people have just failed to read it. Now, some people ignore congregational meetings, and granted, meetings are not high entertainment. But did you know that congregational meetings are the highest authority in the Lutheran Church Missouri Synod? People who join our churches are sometimes baffled when a pastor says, I can't do that without the consent of the congregation, or that's the congregation's choice if they want to participate. Many are shocked that the pastor isn't the CEO of the church like in most non-denominational churches. Even our district president or synodical president can't tell a congregation what to do. Our polity is not hierarchical like the Roman Catholic Church where the Pope can order cardinals to do something or the local bishop can tell a parish what to do. You know, the local bishop can say, we will build a church in this location and I want this to be the boundaries of that new parish and anyone within that boundary must attend this parish. Can't do that in the LCMS. The congregation is the authority, and members have free association. There is a theological reason behind this, believe it or not. God in the New Testament has given His church many gifts, like the sacraments of baptism and Holy Communion. Another gift God gives is pastors, who are to preach the Word and administer the sacraments. However, God doesn't give pastors or pastors' superiors power and authority over the congregation. In our gospel lesson this week, Jesus warned his disciples about lording their authority over people, that if they wanted to be great, then they must be servant of all. As C.F.W. Walther, a founding father of the Lutheran Church Missouri Synod said, the pastor is the chief servant of the congregation. The power of the church is located in congregations made up of individual believers, what we call the office of the keys. This peculiar church power is given the whole church, all believers, thus all believers can forgive sins. All believers can baptize, which is why there is a in the hymnal an order of emergency baptism. Unlike the Old Testament where mediation through priests was required, Jesus became the ultimate high priest and the ultimate mediator between God and humanity. We can go directly to God through Jesus. Each one of us is now a priest, so to speak, before God, what St. Peter calls the royal priesthood in 1 Peter 2.9. Thus, the congregation, the assembly of the priesthood of all believers, has the highest authority, not any one individual. They all together, as the body of Christ, hold the keys to the kingdom of God. So why do we need pastors? The number one reason is because God commands us to have pastors as a gift to serve the priesthood of all believers. It would be unruly, chaotic, unwieldy, and despotic to have everyone exercising the office of the keys in a worship setting. God is a God of order. Chaos is displeasing to God. So, the priesthood of all believers meeting together as a congregation obeys God's command by calling someone to serve them as pastor, 
to preach the word, to administer the sacraments, to teach the faith, to challenge God's people to be about the mission of making disciples of all people. Your pastors are called to serve the church, the body of Christ. The congregation does not give up its power and authority and hand it over to the pastor. It exercises its power through calling a pastor to be chief servant among people who are all servants of our Lord. As a member of the Lutheran Church of Missouri Synod, the congregation mutually agrees to call only people who are certified to be Orthodox pastor. The rostering of pastors was created to protect congregations from unscrupulous charlatans and heretical pastors. Like I said, Ascension does congregational meetings well because Ascension understands the mission God has given to them to make disciples of all people while growing in faith and godly living themselves. Since Ascension keeps this focus, she short circuits things that are selfish in nature, such as the attitude of my way or the highway, or if the church doesn't do things my way, I'm out of here, I'll join a church that does what I want. And since the mission God has given the church is so expansive, there is plenty of room for everyone to join in the mission. God led you to ascension because you have gifts and talents that God knows ascension needs. Please put those gifts and talents to use for the sake of the body of Christ. Again, I commend ascension on how well you do congregational meetings. Assembled as believers, you hold all the power, but you use it for the sake of mission. God bless you for that. I hope that you have learned something today and this helps explain why we do things the way we do. I would encourage all our members to attend congregational meetings. You belong to the priesthood of all believers. May God bless your day as you live as His servant to your neighbors.